Hey there, how's it going? This is Scott Tuzana of MetabolicMasterpiece.com and today I am 10 weeks out from winning the Fuad Abiyad Open and 13 weeks out from winning the UFE Halloween Mayhem, both held in October 2012 and I'll be competing in the lightweight division. Uh, this is totally new to me. This is a huge, huge step outside of my comfort zone. I've never competed before. Uh, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that I'd be stepping on stage in these itsy bitsy tiny posing trunks. Um, never dreamed of it when I was younger and never imagined I'd be doing it uh, at the age of 37. Um, but I gotta tell you, I'm totally stoked. It just feels right to me. It's the right time. Um, man, I just, uh, because this is all new, I, I mean, I'm in it to win it. I'm just super excited. If I'm gonna do this, going all the way, giving everything that I got, and uh, I've decided to, I've dedicated myself to documenting this entire process. I'm going to be recording every workout that I do, every meal that I eat, the emotional experience that I'm going through, uh, and sharing it with you, my fellow physique artists. And I'll be looking to you for some accountability, some feedback, some, some positive support and reinforcement. Uh, but more than anything, I'm just really looking forward to sharing this journey, hoping to inspire some others out there and become inspired by, by my fellow physique artists as well. Uh, now before I get to sharing my workouts and meals and all that great stuff, I think it's really important to share what it was that triggered me to do this. Like I said, this is way outside my comfort zone. Never thought I was going to do this ever in my life. Uh, I just, whenever I thought of competing, whenever anyone mentioned it, um, just this fear boiled up inside of me. Um, so really the thing that started the ball rolling, the seed that, that got planted was first instilled in me uh, by my good friend Tom Venuto when he came and visited me uh, about 12 months ago. It's almost 12 months to the day that Tom came here and he put me through one of the most grueling, actually the most grueling leg workout that I had ever been through. And after the workout, Tom commented on like my potential. He, he saw the potential within me to be a competitor. And at the time, I was probably only about 140 pounds, so not a lot to me. And uh, I had really been stuck in that mainstream fitness, quick burst workout type thing that left me lean and fit, but uh, I didn't have a lot of size to me. So Tom really got the ball rolling and got me hooked on physique training, old school bodybuilding, body sculpting workouts to really shape and mold your body. and. Uh, he really built up my belief system by sharing stories about guys who won the lightweight division and uh, what ended up winning the overall competition against like big heavyweight guys who were 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 70 pounds heavier than them and it was all because they had great symmetry and proportion and balance uh, and it was really at the time where I really started to get into the whole idea of becoming a physique artist, like just really looking at the physique as a work of art and, uh, and how important the balance was, the proportion, symmetry, all that stuff. It just is, is beauty, is a work of art. Um, so that's really where the seed got planted, but still I had, I mean, there's a lot of fear in me. I was still really small, uh, needed to put on some muscle, and still didn't know a whole lot about getting completely ripped. So. Uh, that's really where the whole process uh, started. I've gone through a few photo shoots, two photo shoots in the meantime during this past year. So really kind of I treated this last photo shoot that I did back in April uh, as a trial run to what it would be like if I was to step on stage. So it's been a big learning experience for me. Um, but the main reasons why I decided to compete when I never thought I'd ever do it before um, Number one is I've always been a competitor. I've always been into sports. I love the idea of, of competition, competing with myself as well as competing against others. So just just the idea of competition itself it excites the heck out of me. It gives me reason uh, to push myself harder and, and it provides more excitement, more fun in the process. Uh, another reason is because now, in the past year, I've adopted this mindset of being a physique artist and uh, viewing my body as a work of art, my training as an art form, and I, I just feel that stepping on stage is, um, it's almost like taking my work and hanging it up in a, in a great art gallery for other people to kind of, to inspire them, um, for other people to, I guess, admire. It, it, it's a vanity thing in part, um, but it's just sharing the beauty. Like I've really discovered the beauty in 
bodybuilding. It really is an art form. I've watched, uh, I've attended a bodybuilding event. I've watched some videos online, and it really, it's beautiful. It's really a beautiful, amazing thing. So, I'm really uh, intrigued by the whole thing, and and the process itself. It's been a lot of fun. Like it, it just. Uh, I find a lot of joy in the process, the journey itself. I, I'm just, I'm really happy with it all. I just, I see this event as, as a big event and, and a milestone that I'm going to celebrate. I can't wait to win it, um, but it's one, one step in my overall journey. And, and I really, as I've adopted this physique artist attitude and lifestyle, it's really about continuous growth. And that's been what I've been preaching for the past year is focusing on continuous growth and improvement and uh, I mean, I've gone through a few photo shoots, I've improved my physique, uh, I've basically done everything I set out to accomplish in this past year and in order for me to grow I really need to step outside my comfort zone and, and step on stage. I think it's a big step for me, a big hurdle, big fear to get over uh, and I'm really excited. I'm embracing this, this challenge and uh, I can't wait to see how my comfort zone expands after uh, after this experience. Um, other things, it, like I said, it's just to inspire others. I mean, I, I, I live to inspire others to become the best that they can be and to strive for their potential and to embrace this transformation journey uh, as a lifestyle. I mean, it just, it never, it never ends. And uh, I guess another big reason is because business, my business is fitness. Uh, MetabolicMasterpiece.com, metab uh, I mean, the workouts that I have, that, that Metabolic Masterpiece Body Sculpting Collection, um, it's just getting up on stage and showing that, hey, I've used these workouts to create a stage-worthy physique. It's one way for me to really walk the talk. Uh, there's a lot of fitness experts out there that'll hide behind their computers and they, they talk a good game. They'll throw all the science at you and tell you to avoid all this crap and that you have to only do this stuff, uh, yet you never see them really walking and talk. You don't see their physiques. You don't see them putting their stuff on the line and showing, hey, this stuff really works. Uh, so I think it's going to be good for, for my business and that's good motivation for me. I mean, my business supports my family and my lifestyle. Uh, so that's one reason why I'm going to be giving this my, my complete 100% everything that I got effort. That's why I'm totally in it to win it and uh, I can say with, with complete confidence that I will win both the Fuad Aviad Open and the, uh, the UFE Halloween Mayhem this October. I mean nothing's going to stop me. I've got to do it. Um, let me see. i got my computer here. Let's see if I've, I've, uh, I've already written a post. So if you want to visit the Metabolic Masterpiece blog, I've written a lot of this stuff down. Um, basically, I mean, it just, it's a deadline for me, and uh, yeah, it's just a great way to create some urgency. It, uh, I mean, I, I have, I've had a goal to put on some muscle mass, and I have a goal to get more ripped than I've ever been before, uh, and I could set a date in October to do it, and that'd be exciting, and I've scheduled photo shoots in the past, and that holds me even more accountable, but Stepping on stage is like that new level of accountability, that the big event. It's it's really putting it all on the line out there. So uh, I'm just really anxious to see what that extra urgency, that extra, I guess, fear, that little bit of fear. I think every goal that you have should scare you a bit and excite you a lot, and that's exactly the way I feel with this. So that's kind of where the journey is. That's where uh, I got to be. Uh, I really owe, owe a great deal of gratitude to Tom Venuto. Man, I, I can't thank you enough for all your support, encouragement uh, over the years and for yeah, just really encouraging me to get to this step because I'm as excited as heck, man. I'm really pumped for this and uh, I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't for you. Uh, and thanks to everyone in your community, Burn the Fat Inner Circle. Um, I mean, all the support that I received there is outstanding as well as in the Metabolic Masterpiece Inner Circle. You guys all completely, totally rock. Thanks for your support. Look for my next video where I'll be sharing the workouts that I'm doing this week, the styles of training that I'm doing, the physique training, uh, so meals and the emotional journey and process that I'm going through. Thanks for sharing in this journey with me. I look forward to hearing your feedback. Let's kick some butt together uh, and just live life to our fullest, live to strive for our fullest potential.